Lavrov says the West is convinced that a political solution to the crisis in Syria is inevitable and priority is accorded to counter-terrorism. The Syrian Arab army destroys terrorist hideouts in Al-Qunaytira suburbs and seizes a bus loaded with explosives on the highway in Homs. Thirteen Israelis were injured when a Palestinian young man stabbed them inside the bus in Tel Aviv. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Yerado Krikorian with the news in English. A terrorist car bomb blast hit Aikrima neighborhood in Homs city today. Initial information indicated that the attack, which took place in Al Hadara Street, left civilian casualties. On October 1, 2014, twin terrorist bombings rocked the neighborhood, hitting a school compound and leaving a trail of death in its wake. 32 civilians were killed and more than 111 others were wounded, most of them children. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has said the aim of the inter-Syrian dialogue in Moscow is to prepare for a new round of talks that takes into consideration the mistakes that took place in the previous Geneva sessions. During the annual press conference on the results of the Russian diplomatic work of 2014, Lavrov stressed that what is required is a calm dialogue without any propaganda and an inclusive representation for the sake of finding a political solution. He affirmed that Russia is working for this purpose, adding that this is one of the most important points of the first Geneva Statement, which talks about comprehensive representation of all the Syrian components. Lavrov pointed out that the West is completely convinced that a political solution to the crisis in Syria is inevitable and priority today is accorded to the confrontation of terrorism. The Russian foreign minister, on the other hand, voiced Moscow's keenness on a peaceful solution to the crisis in Ukraine on the basis of the Minsk agreement without any foreign intervention. In reply to a question put by our news correspondent in Moscow, Lavrov asserted that the task of combating terrorism is basic in a bid to end the crisis in Syria. He dismissed as illegal the act of shelling positions in any sovereign state at the pretext of eliminating terrorist groups without the approval of the concerned state and the UN Security Council as it is currently happening in Syria. A Syrian Arab army unit has killed a large number of terrorists and destroyed their machine gun provided vehicles in Umbatina, Mashara and Ofania in Al Qunaytira suburbs. A military source said the Syrian Arab army's successive operations which targeted the hideouts of the Takfiri terrorist organizations linked to Jabhat al-Nusra resulted in killing a large number of gunmen in Ofania north of Al Hamidiyah, which yesterday witnessed a series of operations that left several terrorists dead and injured others. The the Syrian Arab army also targeted terrorist gatherings in Umbatina, west of Al-Qunaytira and in As-Samadaniya, two kilometers from Al-Ba'ath city. Other armed men were eliminated in Mashara, 18 kilometers east of Al-Qunaytira and Tal-Al-Hara, where Takfiri terrorists were positioned and were set on assaulting citizens supported in such attacks by the Zionist occupation authorities. The Takfiri organizations, including Jabhat al-Nusra and the so-called Ahrar al-Sham and Al-Wiyat al-Furqan, had wreaked havoc in Mashara, destroying the landmarks of this village that is built in the ruins of an archaeological site which dates back to the Ayyubid and Mamluki eras. They robbed it of its precious historical artifacts. In Homs, the Syrian Arab army units also eliminated a terrorist group in Homs, eastern suburbs. In Homs countryside, Syrian Arab army units eliminated all the members of a terrorist group northeast of at tarfawi The specialized authorities moreover seized explosive devices and a quantity of drugs hidden inside a bus on the highway. They also found in a secret place in a bus 11 fuel detonator pulleys, 60 fuel detonator boxes and 1 kilogram of hashish. Four people who were in the bus were captured. 
The Monitor website revealed secret documents about investigations carried out by the Turkish army on the disappearance of three trucks affiliated with the Turkish intelligence believed to be smuggled into Syria, which is another proof for the involvement of the Turkish government in arming the terrorists in Syria. The website pointed out that the information revealed proved that all the reports which the Turkish government tried to hide were true about Ankara's destructive role in the Syrian crisis. The information coincided with another report published by this Turkish Zaman newspaper in which a member of the Dutch Democratic Party had confirmed that the Turkish government was directly involved in funding and arming the terrorist groups in Syria. Welcome back. In retaliation to the repeated crimes of the Israel occupation entity against the Palestinian people, a Palestinian young man managed today to injure 13 Israelis, five of them seriously, by stabbing them in a bus in Tel Aviv. The Israeli news media said the Palestinian young man who was on the bus stabbed the Israelis and managed to escape for a while. However, the Israeli forces of occupation opened fire at him, injuring him before they arrested him. Meanwhile, Israeli settlers renewed today their attempts to storm Al-Aqsa Mosque as the Israeli occupation forces arrested 20 Palestinians in several raids in several cities in the West Bank. Since the early morning, Israeli groups of settlers tried to storm Al-Aqsa Mosque from the two gates of Al-Maghariba and Al-Rahma, and they were supported by the Israeli forces of occupation. The Palestinian prayers and religious scholars repelled the attacks and foiled them. Within the same context, the Israeli forces of occupation arrested today a Palestinian woman while she was going out of Al-Aqsa Mosque from Al-Silsila Gate. Also in Nablus, the occupation forces arrested today 12 Palestinians in an arrest raid in the two Palestinian refugee camps of Blata and Askar Jadid, east of the city. In Hebron, the Israeli occupation forces also arrested six Palestinians from the two towns of Dora and Beit Amr. In the latest Iraqi development, the Army Command announced the killing of 33 terrorists and destruction of a number of their hideouts at the outskirts of the capital. The Iraqi Defense Ministry announced that Iraqi fighter jets targeted terrorist gatherings in the areas of Al Jazeera, Al Badia, Samarra, and the Tigris River, inflicting heavy losses upon them. Meanwhile, an Iraqi military source in the governorate of Diyala said that three defense lines of ISIL terrorists were dismantled in Al Maqdadiyah, northeast of Baquba, following intensive bombardment by Iraqi forces. Finally, the Libyan army made a big progress in the areas of Alithi and Sani Aziza in the city of Benghazi. Two gunmen in the city of Derna were captured along with explosions experts. The Libyan army also took control of Umm Bruka in the western enclave of Benghazi. Meanwhile, fierce clashes erupted between army units and the so-called Ansar al-Sharia, during which a number of terrorists were killed and wounded. With this, we conclude our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Now to latest business and market news with Serena, but after a short break. <laughs>